Now I'm just going to move on right along to the front. You may not be caught up with me, but I'm just going to keep on cruising. This is our last one. We're going to do this one, the slash method, and I'm going to show you how it is no different than what we just did. Just your piece you swing out is bigger. We're going to pick a spot somewhere between the side seam and the dart to make sure that it doesn't interfere with anything of that. We're going to keep it perpendicular to the center front or to the longitudinal line. Excuse me. No. Perpendicular to the hip line. We're going to draw a line somewhere in here. When we're about an inch from the hip line, we're going to diagonally kilt it over to the hip line. We're going to cut down this line to the hip line as a pivot and then in from the hip line to have a relief cut. You're going to get a piece of filler paper. And once again, up here at the waistline, you're going to be gapping it an eighth of an inch. I mean, a quarter of an inch. And that's it. It absolutely is no different than the seam method on this. We're still not infecting our darts. We still haven't really changed our curve. We still don't have to fold it in because it's such a minute movement. So we're just gonna label it and cut it. This is number 24. This is for a large waist. We're still doing a quarter inch correction. This is the slash method. This is a pant front. Size 10, half scale. My name is on it.